Hi, I'm Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Community Affairs, and we're here today to talk about an event that's coming up um, soon. It's a Father's Day car show, and it's put on by the Ken Allen Cruisers. Um, this happens every year, and I have two of the cruisers here. I have Sheldon Siegel, who's the president of the car club, and Ron Bryan, who's vice president of the car club. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you for having to be with us. Um, so this show, you have every Father's Day, and um, tell us a little bit about the show, which this year it's June 21st, and we'll get the time out. It's 9 to 2. Um, how many cars come? What, what can people expect to see when they come there? Well, first of all, it's our 18th annual. So it's been going so, on for a while. And it's held at the Ken Allen High School. Okay. Uh, and it has been for years. Uh, last year, I believe we had about 192 cars there. Wow. Yeah, so, and then along with the cars, we have vendors come in, uh, car-related and not car-related. And uh, we have some food vendors come in. So okay. there's lots of things for people to do, just spectators, too. And, and the cars, um, you guys give out trophies for this one? Yes, uh, we're giving out close to 80 trophies this year. So. And I know the, um, you have some specialty categories that you we give do. trophies out for this. And I, I know one of them is really popular, and that's the loudest car. And what is that for somebody who doesn't know what the loudest car is? How do you do it's that? It's cars that come in. Most of them, uh, they um, have a decibel meter that we hold in a certain location by each car. And uh, the uh, owner of the car gets to rev his engine up <laughs> to make as much noise as he possibly can to see how high the decibels go. It, it's incredible. And and I know that that draws like the huge crowds. So. Yes. Yeah, yes. People love that. Yeah. Loud and, cars. Oh, yeah. And it's and you're allowed to be loud. Yeah. And then I know um, last year you added a new category and it was for um, kit for I want to say kids, not kids, but um, Yo um, younger, um, younger car enthusiasts. Right. And, and that's something we're really trying to pursue. Uh, we're trying to get the younger people people involved in, in the hobby. Uh, we know they're out there. Uh, there seems to be an age gap right now. It's right. guys middle age like Ron and I. <laughs> and then you have the younger crew. And, and, you know, we're trying to get together with that because they're the future. They're the right. future of our hobby. So uh, we thought that would be a way to... And you had some participants in that yes. last year. Yes. So, you know, that's... They need to spread the word that you're going to, you know, that's coming out and I, again. Yeah, I hope that comes with time. It, you know, it's going to take time, but we had quite a few last year, actually. Right. And, and I think the other thing that they need to understand is we're not into just a certain era of car. It's any year of car. Right. Yes. Okay. The, you know, a lot of the younger people today are into the, the uh, smaller cars with the high output and small engines. Mm -hmm. And um, we want to get them involved because I think what we provide is that club atmosphere and giving them opportunities to interchange with other people with ideas, even some of us older guys like Sheldon and I. You might learn something. Well, and that's, that's another thing, moving past the Father's Day show, the club itself, you guys have been around for 21 20, years. 21 years now. So you're not, you know, just some fly-by-night organization. You've been around for a while, and um, the, I know that you do these shows, and you have all different shows and cruisings and all. Um, but let's let's talk a little bit about the money that you make from the shows. Where does that go? Well, over the 20, 21 years, it was founded in 1994. Uh, we have collected, I believe now, uh, it was sixty-six thousand dollars. Wow. Uh, as of the first of the year, we've already given away a couple thousand dollars already this year, and our and our season is just starting. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting another big year. But all that, all the money we are able to collect at these shows. So how it works are we give trophies. Everyone likes trophies, and that brings the cars in. We get sponsors to buy those trophies for us in their mm -hmm. name. We give those trophies away. We collect the registration, and that allows us to give money away. And all the money stays here local, um, whether it's charities or just people in need that we find out about. Right. And that allows us to give away that money during the course of the year. What are some of the charities that you all donate back to? Uh, our, our big one is uh, the Ken Allen Fire, uh, Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, we have a Halloween show, uh, and that money is, goes to those people. We also, another big one is we, we do a uh, all clubs a meeting. Uh, early in the year, right. try to get together with all the car clubs in the area, um, and that money goes to the ladies' auxiliary 
the firehouse. Uh, gosh, we have a uh, we've done bullying for Queen Anne's uh, County Schools. Mm -hmm. uh, what else have we done, Ron? Well, we, this year, uh, the first year we did it was uh, for Queen Anne's County and Talbot County for the hospice. And yes, a, yes, and they, a, they actually came in and did a piece for we that. We had a yes. new, yes, new show you. with them this year uh, in which uh, I think in that show we were able to provide hospice with about $1,500 of charity money. Um, we also do one for a family called the Swinky Toy Drive each year. That's a big uh, one. That's a that's a big one. And then anybody, people have come forward over the years that have a special need for one reason or another. And if it's something that we think we can help them with, we may put on a super cruise or mm -hmm. something of that nature to give them money to help them. Um, we've sponsored the uh, Cruise Safe Foundation when they started after the terrible accident on Cox Neck Road a few right. years ago. Um, so th those kind of things to help local people. We're very involved this year back, first time in a number of few years, with the Wings and Wheels. And that's coming up this weekend. That's coming up this yep. weekend. June 6th, uh, and that's which, at the airport. At the airport, in which that money that, that is raised there by the Lions goes to uh, the Wilmer Eye Clinic and other eye things, and they do, the Lions is, does a lot of things for the community. So we're there helping them with that. So, so along with the Father's Day show, and you mentioned a few of the other shows, every Tuesday night you guys have a cruise in at Kmart, and who can come to that? Anybody? Anyone can come to that. Anybody? That's, that's the great thing about our club is we have no restrictions on the type of car you might drive or even a year of car. You don't even have to have a car right, that's true. to be part of our club. <laughs> you might but, be in between. <laughs> so, yeah, at any of our shows, including Rita's, you can have any kind of car there. Okay. We welcome everyone. And the Rita's, uh, and then um, for the summer months, uh, we'll have the inform we have the information up for the different shows. You have three super cruises. Yes. And what's involved with a super cruise? <laughs> uh, well, the cruise ins, uh, the weekly cruise ins, are just people getting together and, and having a good time on a Tuesday night. Uh, we decided to expand that a couple years ago and call them super cruises, and it's another way for us to raise money uh, for local charities and people in need. Uh, we do uh, registration is by donation. We don't ask for any money, but. Uh, we've been collecting a lot of money. That's for uh, the super cruises. For the super cruises. Right. We have one in July, August, and September this year. Uh, and they're held up uh, in the Rita's Kmart parking lot. Okay. And I'm excited because um, I work with the Historic Stevensville Arts and Entertainment District, and the club is going to help with the car show that's going to happen the first Saturday in November. Of course, last year it got rained yeah. out. Well, the, only, no rain. the only first Saturday it rained all last year was the car show day. So... Um, you know, we're, we're going to shut down downtown Stevensville and have the cars parked right on the street and everything. And we're excited to have the club helping with that. Um, so, so pretty much there's shows, cruise-ins and all kinds of events going on all the time. And you can come out, look at the cars, you can participate, um, you know, and enjoy it. Uh, the, the big one is the Father's Day show on June 21st from nine to two at Ken Allen High School. And, um, you know, come out and it sounds, it sounds exciting. Yeah. Come out and listen to the loud come, cars. Come and join us because we really have a good time. Yeah. It is a good time. It's a family atmosphere, so we have a good time. Uh, if anyone, you know, I don't know if you want to talk about uh, how they can contact the Canal Cruisers. Um, actually, we have your contact information will be up on the screen, so they'll be able to, Excellent. to look at the website or to email um, the contacts whose information we have. Yeah, because... We're also very involved with Facebook. They can friend us yep, on that's Facebook. that's what I was... And... Uh, we're starting to get into Twitter. <laughs> uh, Got to move forward. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's another way to reach out to the young right. kids. Uh, we're just getting started with this. I don't think either one of either us. Either one are, of us are there yet. <laughs> yeah, but but it's definitely going to happen, and we're looking forward to that. So. Wonderful. All right. Well, I thank you guys for coming in, and I hope we have a huge turnout at the Father's Day show on the twenty first, so. and come out for Wings and Wheels on June sixth at the airport. Yes, too. or any of our other other events. Yep. Thank you very much. Thank you All for right. having Thank us. Thank you, Debbie.